Now we will see how one of the AI tool called SAP PA, SAP PA process integration tool. Now it is called as SAP PO process orchestration. And also previously it is called as SAP XI. How SAP PA AI tool to communicate where how it is uh, connected to various application systems like SAP database, mail server, and uh, Java system, mainframes, and uh, web related system, and uh, some other uh, legacy systems like this file system, and uh, maybe JMS system, and uh, sometimes we can say different systems, third party systems. Okay. So SAP PA systems has first established a connection in between the application system to EA system and for example if SAP PA wants to communicate a file system and it needs file channel file communication channel to establish a connection in between file system and SAP PA system once it is uh, connection is established and also we need to create one more communication channel in between SAP PA system to database system if the scenario is file to database system. For example, one text file has information like file name, uh, student name, student marks information and each uh, fields are separated by comma. Now, in database table, we have one table like a student which has various column information like a student name, student ID, student marks. So, what, so we are supposed to uh, place all the CSV file content into in this table. For example, one file consultant, I mean uh, legacy system consultant simply placed one file in a location uh, in his directory so after completion of the day at the uh, at the end of the day pa consultant need to pick this information pick the data and place all this information into in this table so that is the requirement so in this case what sap pa consultant will do he establish a connection between between file system and SAP PA and he will get uh, access to this location so that SAP PA can pick a file from this location and at the same time he will establish a connection in between database and SAP PA first he will get the drivers and install those drivers in SAP PA then he is able to communicate with the database systems and he also needs authorization to uh, get the permission to access database. In the same case, every application system has some uh, authorizations. So, PA has to get that uh, authorizations and uh, additional parameters if any required to establish a connection with application system. So, in, like this, he established a connection between two application system with SAP EI system. Then, now, he need to create a structure for file. So, it has different fields like uh, file, student name, student ID, student marks. So he will uh, create a structure, XML structure, XSD. Okay. And also he will, uh, if he, he can get the structure from the database. If it is already predefined, he can use it. If it is not there, based on the table, uh, table structure, he will create one more structure here. Uh, but most of the cases we can get XSD for the table and we can reuse that XSD here instead of creating a new one. So source XSD file has different uh, field information like uh, student name, ID, marks, sometimes uh, it may have uh, information like uh, student uh, father name. So it has a father name. Sometimes that field may not maintain here. He simply maintains the 
only student information sometimes we may not maintain the father student father information here so we need to map concerned field to this field so mapping may plays major role here one thing is establish a connection between source system and second thing is establish a connection to receiver system and third thing is mapping in between both source and target structures so this communication channel convert this file format to xml format so this pa can pa consult can view the data content in xml file at the same after the mapping is over he can see the target xml file here so again by using this communication channel he can send this information to in this database table so once it is once the all the messages will be passed into this database system again database consultant can view the content student content directly on this by opening this table so he placed file consultant or one person legacy system consultant simply placed a file here and database consultant simply viewing the that information in his table not through file so like this this is a simple example of what sap pa how sap pa establish a connection between different application system how uh, interface is designed i explained this video would be useful for who wants to know about uh, ea basics on ea tools and what exactly sap pa will pa do uh,